Lauren Shawns here from WebGeeks. Today I'm going to talk about foundational elements of an effective digital marketing strategy. We have a lot of clients across North America and other parts of the world, and a lot of those clients do business locally. And for a lot of those clients, we're the first marketing agency they've actually worked with. So as a result, we often have to go back to the basics and deal with foundational items that make up an effective digital marketing program. So what are those foundational elements? Well, first of all, strategy. The old axiom is aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. Well, that's reality, especially when you're out spending marketing money. It's very easy to spend a lot of money and get no results. So what's a strategy? A strategy takes a look at your local market. It takes a look at your competition. It looks at your current visibility on the search engines. It looks at your products and services, tries to identify your, the pros and cons of working with your organization, and then develops a message that needs to be communicated across multiple channels. Once you have your strategy put together, you've figured out what your messaging ought to be, then we look at the platforms that will distribute that content. First and foremost is your website. The website's important because no matter what other tactic you're using, you're driving that visitor or potential customer somewhere, and that somewhere almost always is your website. The website needs to be engaging. It needs to be contemporary. It needs to reflect uh, the type of organization you want people to understand you to be. So, starting with that website, if it's a brochure type of website, WordPress is a great platform. There's other content management systems. Uh, you can build the website from scratch using HTML, but WordPress really seems to be the um, really seems to be the platform of choice for many of our clients. That website should have great pictures should have easy navigation, titles and content displayed in an engaging way, calls to action, get the client to do the thing that you want them to do when they're on the site. All these things working together help create a great experience for your website visitor when they arrive at your site. Once you have the website figured out, you have your branding established on the site, there's a few other things that you ought to consider, especially if you're servicing a local constituency. You need to think about business directory listings. We're talking about the Google Maps. We're talking about Bing and Yelp, as well as the whole myriad of other directories that are out there. The directory for your GPS in your car. All of these things draw data from various sources. It's up to you and the agency you engage to ensure that the information that these directories have, that the search engines draw from, that people are trying to find you on, are accurate your name, your address, your phone number, the category of business you deal with, brands that you represent, your business times, the type of payments you accept, that type of thing. Whatever information will help people uh, choose you over your competitor, get them into the business directories. Your social media platforms. Now, you may not know how you want to use social media. You may not be prepared to use social media now. But in establishing foundational properties for your digital presence, you need to look at Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, and even Google+. Extend your brand across these platforms and be ready to engage clients through social media. So in summary, the foundational elements of an effective digital marketing program include strategy, an engaging website, optimization across local business directories, and establishing and extending your brand across social profiles. So if you need some help with any of these foundational elements, get a hold of us here at WebGeeks. We'd be glad to give you a hand.